Today on the channel, we float like a butterfly, sting like a bee with the Mattel Elite Target Exclusive Legend Series 22, Muhammad Ali. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Back to the channel for another Mattel Legends Series 22 unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got Muhammad Ali. First time in the Elite line. How about that? But of course, for all your Muhammad Ali needs, make sure you hit over to Target. For everything else under the sun wrestling related, hit up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Got to get a deal out there. And Muhammad Ali returns. No stranger to Mattel at this point. Part of the retro uh, throwback figures, of course. Uh, Superstars line. We have a basic WrestleMania referee one maybe around the corner. We'll see what ends up happening with that. Could be canceled forever. Could be a big lot special. We'll see what happens there. And, of course, uh, San Diego Comic-Con 2023 exclusive 2-in-1 uh, packaging figure, boxing attire, and, of course, referee attire. We got another one coming to Mattel Creations with Gorilla Monsoon in the near future. And then, of course, we got this one here as the Legends one. So a lot of us are probably Muhammad ali out by this point. But, just like we always say, you got to get the most out of your molds. Got to get the most out of your contracts. We saw it with Mr. T as a perfect example. We saw him in pretty much every single line they could do. They're going to do the same thing here with Muhammad Ali. So if you like Muhammad Ali, it's great for you. If you feel like he's taking the spot of somebody else, could be a little rough for you right now. But we got another Muhammad Ali to dive into right here in his fanciest of bathrobes. But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. Without further ado, let's see what old Muhammad Ali's up to in the Legends line. A uh, heavy hitter, uh, no pun intended right there. And what? Oh, Mark Summers on the couch once again. Double dare fame Mark Summers on the couch, taking the spot for Todd McFarlane. Just keeping it warm for him is what you said. And what? You said you had a Muhammad Ali story? T Mark, we don't got time for your Muhammad Ali story. I'm sorry, you just stick over there. What? He was almost on Family Double Dare? You're kidding me. With uh, Tatiana Ali, was she there too? Oh, the wrong Ali, he says. Who knows? But that's an interesting story. We'll save that for uh, something else down the line. You just hang tight over there, Mark Summers, on the couch. You just keep it warm for Todd McFarlane. I like Todd more than Mark. Mark's, Mark's a little annoying from time to time, I, I gotta tell you. Uh, but Muhammad Ali looking really good. Yeah, I love you, Mark. You just keep watching. Uh, WWE logo right there. Legend Series 22. Elite logo, of course. Throwback style packaging. Always kind of fun. Uh, very nostalgic, but new at the same time. I'm here for that. Muhammad Ali, Mattel. The usual suspects going on. Series 22. Elite. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali on this side over here. And there's Muhammad Ali right in the back there. And, of course, cross-sell down below. We're unboxing every single one of these on the channel. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe. We will unbox the Chase Hulk Hogan and rank the entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite. We'll see where that goes. We got the tail of the tape. You got the blurb. Got a lot of fun. Let's see what it says about Muhammad Ali. And what? Mark. Mark Cybers keeps interrupting. It's getting a little annoying. You're about to get banned from the couch, and you're going to have to go sit upstairs with uh, the dogs is what you're going to have to do since they're not here either. I don't know what they're up to. But what were you going to say? Oh, okay. Yeah, Mark Cyrus thinks he could take Muhammad Ali right now. And yeah, Muhammad Ali's dead. He's slapping his knees over there like he made a funny joke. Come on, Mark. Too soon. Muhammad Ali just died like five years ago. Let's let's cut it out. Let's cut the jokes out, Mark. You're banned from this video. He's done. All right, we're going over here. Muhammad Ali, titles three-time world heavyweight boxing champion. Muhammad Ali floated like a butterfly, stung like a bee, not only inside of the boxing ring, but in the WWE as well. From going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gorilla Monsoon to having classy Freddie Blassie in his corner, Ali set out to prove that he's the greatest of all time in every ring around the world. So there you go. And it'd be interesting to see if, what would Muhammad Ali do today? Would he be in boxing? Would he be in the UFC? Would he be a crossover hybrid wrestler like a pancreas art, pan artist? Who knows what he'd be up to? Maybe he'd be a professional wrestler. Huh? You just never know. Coming in fast right there at Mark Summers, keeping him on his toes. He'll take the physical challenge, and there it is, old Muhammad Ali looking good. Looking like he's in a bathrobe, though, if you ask me. 
We get two sets of hands here, and then of course the boxing hands, and I'm here for these boxing hands. Uh, I don't know how you could ever release a Muhammad Ali figure without boxing hands. I'm pretty sure that uh, Mattel Creation exclusive around the corner, I, does that have boxing hands? Uh, I don't think it represents a time when he had boxing. Yeah, I guess it does. I think that's where he took on Gorilla Monsoon. But I think that one comes with him in a suit. So it'd be weird to have boxing gloves in a suit. Stranger things have happened, though. No? We'll see. Got twist ties. See you later. Goodbye. Twist ties, twist ties, twist ties. Let's get down to business right here. We got two boxing hands there. But we get two gripping hands and two fisted hands here. So choose your own Muhammad Ali adventure. I think most people are going to probably display an Ali like this with the boxing gloves on. But if you want the regular hands, they are there for you. But now we got old Muhammad Ali doing Muhammad Ali things right out of the package. And first thing I noticed, they got the big rubber band around the waist holding everything together. So I'm going to pull that off. Get that rubber band off. And there we go. All right. Now things open up a little bit. They're opening up a little bit here. And I guess we'll start with the Muhammad Ali head scan here. Very smiling looking head. I believe this is a new head in the Elite line, so we're here for that. I'm sure we'll get reuse out of it somewhere along the way, and we'll compare later on this video to the other Ali's, so stay tuned for that. Got that black hair going good. A little bit of a smirk, a little bit of a smile here for Ali. So uh, on brand for Muhammad Ali, I guess we'll say with that one there. Now he does got his white robe here. And for some reason, I thought this white robe was going to feel a little bit more fluffy. Kind of like the Liv Morgan robe from, I don't know, 20 sets ago in the Elite line, whatever it was. Uh, instead, it's a little bit more silky-like robe. So a little finer uh, Chinese silk. Who knows? Who knows what they're up to there? Muhammad Ali on the back, just in case you didn't know who this is. You definitely know. He puts this in the you know locker room, and I'm sure Muhammad Ali is sharing his locker with many people. Don't want to get confused. Uh, I don't think so. I think he had his own locker room, but it's got Ali on the back, always promoting right to the end, I guess is what we'll say there. But I'm going to take this robe off, or I'm going to take it down a little bit here, and we get a bit of a classic Muhammad Ali here. You got the white trunks with the black on the side looking pretty good. Looks like something Muhammad Ali would wear back in the day, no doubt about it. Uh, and then you got the boxing shoes even kind of look to it with the high socks up over the top, all in white. Looking good, looking good. Now we do get the black gloves with this one of the Coliseum Collection came with the red gloves. So it's another point of difference there. It's a little difference, but at least it's a point of difference. I like that we got a different glove color. You could mix and match. We know how that goes. So you could mix and match back and forth if you wanted to on that one. You do get the little wristbands. I mean, it is technically part of the gloves, what it's supposed to be, but it is separate. It is removable. Uh, these do come off just like hands normally do. Of course, pinless joints on this one. You know I'm here for that. Arms do go all the way around for us. You got a bicep cut. Double jointed pinless elbows. Man, I'm always here for that. And then, of course, hands removable back and forth. You do get an ab crunch, and unfortunately, a little weak in the ab crunch. He's a little looser than I would appreciate. A uh, little too light there. I don't like that a whole lot. So he's got the frog problem right there. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. Should be tighter in the waist. Uh, you do get a waist articulation left and right. Of course, legs, big old splits if you need them. Legs do go up. Got the thigh cut. Double jointed pinless knees. Once again, very tight articulation on the knees. You do get the boot cut, ankles back and forth, up and down. So the usual elite articulation here for old Muhammad Ali. Oh my gosh, is he not going to fit on a ringside stand? What are we doing? What are we doing? Could be a disaster. Oh, there we go. The other foot fits. The other one did not for whatever reason. But looking good. I am really glad this did come with a robe though, but I'm very disappointed how loose this is. That is brutal. Just absolutely brutal. What are we doing, Mattel? Come on. We got to have tighter joints there. Let's get some quality control on that. Come on. What are we doing? But Muhammad Ali, good for what it is. I personally believe this will be the peg warmer of Series 22. I like the Hulk Hogan a lot. I like the Captain Lou. I like the Sultan. But it just feels like maybe this one is too soon on that Coliseum collection, the San Diego Comic Con. A lot of Ali stuff. And Ali being a celebrity, not really a wrestler in the way we think of wrestlers. I can see people leaving this one behind. I think there's enough, uh, enough uh, meat on the bone for the other ones to be guaranteed pickups, but it's still early. We'll see what ends up happening there. You want to believe there's crossover in Ali figures, but I said it with those Coliseum collections. I think UFC fans and boxing fans don't cross over into toy collections like wrestling fans do. Wrestling fans have been trained since an early age to buy action figures. Not everybody does, obviously, but it's more well-known to buy action figures of wrestlers. Or boxing fans, they've never really had boxing toy lines. We've had multiple UFC lines that have all failed because of lack of sales. Boxing, nobody's ever went all in on a boxing line. 
So I do think this one may struggle a little bit, but I could be surprised as well. We'll see what happens on the old store pegs here the next couple of weeks and months. We'll stay tuned to that. And of course, Coliseum Collection, Muhammad Ali. I did expect this uh, nice soft goods kind of bath type robe for this one. Just the one's very similar to that Liv Morgan I was talking about. It is different though, however. We do got the same pants, everything. It's basically like we're getting this ultimate dumbed down to an elite level in a lot of ways. I appreciate the robes being different. I appreciate the gloves being a different color. We did get a different head here, but I think we might have got this head along the way as well. Uh, but there is differences here, so I do appreciate that because they very easily could have just gave us the same robe, gave us the same head, gave us the same color, and just made the articulation be the only difference. Thankfully, that's not the case. There is differences from these, so that is good. And that's a good job on Mattel for that one there. But for most part, I can see people saying, you know, I got this one. I really don't need this one, and I couldn't argue really hard against that. But it is what it is, but I'd be interested to hear about you. Are you picking up a Muhammad Ali in the Elite line? Are you good with your Coliseum one from San Diego Comic-Con, or do you need one for your Elite shelf? I can also see that. I store my Ultimates away from my Elites. Got to have them in both spots. I understand that as well. But let me know your thoughts with this Muhammad Ali in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Patreon, the best way to support the channel. You do get early access to both YouTube channel videos. A lot going on on the Patreon every single day. I do appreciate the support. And you can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget Barnes & Noble and Amazon for my book, The Complete Guide to the Jazz Class Superstar Series. Just shy of 700 pages. A beautiful book, if I don't say so myself. And of course, don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads. And on Instagram. So for Muhammad Ali, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.